What is going on everybody? Welcome to part two of our base map or geographical plotting within Python tutorial. Uh, where we left off we were just making a really really s simple projection, not too fancy, no plots, but we're just putting up the world basically. So it looks good so far. Now, to some of you guys this might sound kind of goofy, but we probably should have a quick reminder about latitude and longitude. So latitude is running up and down, right, vertically. Longitude runs long, so left to right. So longitude is your x variable. Latitude is, in theory, your y variable, right? x runs left to right, y runs up and down. But most of the time when a latitude and longitude is reported, it's reported in that order, right? Latitude, longitude, so it's actually being reported yx. So um, just kind of start messing around with that in your head for a little bit because when we finally get to that um, it's just good to keep yourself oriented and, and also the way this works if you didn't already figure it out normally uh, coordinates are given in north south east west right so your north coordinates are the positives south coordinate is obviously in the negatives west coordinate is also negatives and east coordinate is a positive so you can think of it as you know a plane right that's kind of the idea we are actually plotting stuff and we're treating it like a plane. So just keep that in mind. So now that we uh, have made a really really basic uh, map, let's go over some of the stuff that we can customize real quick. So uh, before changing anything, resolution C stands for crude resolution. Uh, and then the other one is L for a low resolution and then H for high. Depending on what you want to do, you might want to change those up, but just to show you guys, so if we did L you have already seen C, L, it's going to take a little bit, slightly longer. But as you can see, it's, it, it drew some stuff within our continents, basically. So like lakes, and like large lakes are now being shown. And then finally, you can draw the H, but mind you, it's going to take a little bit to render this, but we'll wait. Um, and we wait. Wow, we're still waiting. It's a very long, long process. Did it already pop up for us or no? No, still waiting. But anyway, I guess I'll explain. The you know high granularity part of our problem is we're plotting like the entire uh, Earth right now. But the higher you go, obviously, the more detail of the map you're going to have. So anyway, here's our new one. So as you can see, it's done a lot of lakes and stuff for us. So like now we can zoom back into like the Canada region that we were just looking at a little bit ago. And you can see there's a lot more detail there. But obviously, this is taking up a lot of loading time so if you don't need that stuff you shouldn't really use it so anyway we're not going to use it um, but it's there just in case that's what you wanted I'm going to use crude now the next thing that we were talking about remember latitude and longitude right now we're showing you know the whole earth right and maybe we're just interested in for now the United States region right so you wouldn't want to have to zoom in every time to the United States so what you can start to do is cut this stuff. So like uh, the lower left corner, uh, 60 degrees. The upper right can stay at 90. Um, then we'd want to do, well, let's just do this real quick just to keep you guys oriented. So like we can cut away uh, the, the south, you know, you know, so like, unless you really want Antarctica, you just, you don't need Antarctica. So you might as well cut that away. Um, we'll zoom into the rest of America later. Uh, so the next thing that we can also do is on the fill continents, you can choose colors. So you can choose the continent color and you can choose the lake color. And then also the boundaries, you can choose color there as well. So for example, uh, fill continents, you can say color equals and you can either use hex colors or you can use like the red, green, blue, that kind of stuff. Uh, but we're going to use a 072B57. And then you can specify the lake color. And that will just be uh, pound F, 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 F. So just white. Next thing uh, you can do is fill the water. So where we have draw map boundary, you can do fill uh, 
color equals, and again, we're just going to color all the water the same, and it's going to be F, 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 F. So now when we render this up, you can see now our continent is dark blue, and all the water is white. So it looks, you know, slightly better than it was looking. So that's going to conclude this tutorial. Uh, in the next tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to draw state lines, country lines, and even uh, make your projection quite a bit cooler. Even though we're not actually going to use it, it's still pretty cool to show you, and some of you guys might actually enjoy it. So I'll show you another cool projection that you can do. So anyway, uh, as always, thanks for watching. Thanks for your support, your subscriptions, and until next time.